Hi, everybody. Welcome to Sing with Susie. Happy Wednesday and welcome to our holiday special. I'm here with my puppy Penny and I have a super lineup of special guests today. I cannot wait to share them with you today on our season finale of 2021. We have such a big lineup today. I have two superstars of kids music today. I have Brady Reimer with me and Lori Berkner will be here and they'll be singing some holiday songs, sp spreading some holiday cheer, and we'll get to chat with them a little bit in just a few minutes. But let's go ahead and see who's watching today. I know that we have some friends already signing on, so please type in your child's name so that I know who's here. On Sing with Susie, we celebrate diversity from all backgrounds and abilities, and everyone is welcome here. And welcome to our holiday special. This is so much fun for me to share this with you. I also wanted to share some fun news from YouTube that we found out just the other day, and we are growing. Sing with Susie, according to YouTube, is now being viewed and listened to in 73 countries. So we have grown in the 18 months that we've been producing our live broadcast. <laughs> and today, our special guests are Brady Reimer and Lori Berkner here to share some holiday cheer with you. We are also raising money today for a very important food pantry right here in Park Slope, Brooklyn called Camp Friendship. And actually, my husband and my daughter and I volunteer there on Friday evenings and help prepare the bags that get distributed to over, well, to hundreds of families here in Brooklyn, New York. So throughout the show, I'm going to be sharing the link. You can also at any time go to their website, which is campfriendshipbrooklyn.org backslash food pantry, and you can find out more about them. But throughout the show, I'll be sharing the link in the chat. And if you feel like donating today, they distribute bags of produce, pantry items, and prepared meals weekly to hundreds of families in Brooklyn, New York, and your help is greatly appreciated. All right, let's go ahead and see who's here. I see so many friends here today. Hi to Rachel. Hello to Augustus. Hi to Ivan and Epo. Hello to Jack. Hello to Betsy, Rosalind, and Micah. My mom is here. Happy Wednesday, mom. Lisa and Saya from Minnesota. Arnold is here. Merry Christmas, Arnold. Elise is here and Jen. Laura is here, my friend Laura. Hi, Laura. Happy holidays. I miss you too. Taylor is here watching from Dallas, Texas. We also have Cody the dog watching, Jack. Okay, wonderful. Thomas and Madeline are watching, Mason and Julia, and I think that's all we have so far. And if I've missed anybody, please go ahead and type your name in so that I can give you a shout out today. Thank you so much, friends, for watching. We also have friends watching on YouTube. I know my friend Matthew is watching. Hi, Matthew. And other friends, too, who I can't see your names unless you're watching from Facebook. So let's go ahead and get this party started. I'm going to go ahead and bring my dear friend Brady Reimer to the stage. Now, Brady and I have been friends for many, many years. You might not know this, <laughs> but many years ago when our children were very small, we used to gather at a YMCA in Manhattan and we used to play music for other children along with our friend Lou Gallo. And that's when I first met Brady. And that might have been, it might have been 20 years ago. I'm not exactly sure, but Brady will let us know. Um, Brady's rootsy accordion laced pop and rock music regularly wins critical acclaim and national awards, including three children's Grammy nominations with his bandmates, The Little Band That Could. So without further ado, please give a Sing With Susie welcome to Brady Reimer. <laughs> Hi, Susie. Hey, Brady. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. It's so good to see you. Great I to love see your, you. I love your shiny holiday jacket. Thank you very much. I like your sweater. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Looks cozy. <laughs> so what do you think, Brady? How long have we been friends? Has it been that long? I think it's more. <laughs> <laughs> no, that makes us sound so old. Okay, we'll just stick with Remember we'll stick back with in the day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we, definitely 20 years, I think. Yeah. Yeah. We can always tell because of how old our kids are getting. So that's how we can tell. 
we, we just talked about kids. them going off to college and now they're all done with college or I one know. of yours is almost. Yeah, <laughs> I still have one that's just the beginning. So thank goodness for that. <laughs> so Brady, I have a question for you and also yes. for um, our audience and friends. You can type in your answers into the chat at any point in the show. What is a holiday tradition in oh. your family? <laughs> Well, since we're talking about the old days, this one <laughs> <laughs> this one started when my wife Bridget was pregnant with our first child Gus. So okay. it's de December 1996 and it's the snowy upper Manhattan and and little Gus has not hasn't been born yet and he was he was late coming to the party. So we tried everything, you know, like <laughs> exercising, we wrote him a song, we played Scrabble, you know, we're doing all the time waiting for waiting for Gus. So yeah. um it was getting close to Christmas. It was December 15th. And we said, why don't we just, let's go out and get a Christmas tree. And you know, Manhattan with all the trees on the streets. Yes. And we picked one and we lugged it into the building, got in the elevator, got it up, brought it into the house. And right when we brought it into the house, it's like, uh-oh, time to go to the hospital. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we leaned it against the wall. We ran down, got a taxi. And so every every year on his birthday on December 15th, we try to go out and get our Christmas tree. <laughs> oh, that's a great tradition. I don't think anybody else has that tradition. That is truly yours. <laughs> right. It is truly ours. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love that. That is yeah. great. Please tell Bridget that. That makes me so happy. I love that story. It was a, we it have was some friends. One thing that did it. <laughs> we have some friends who are showing up um, here to the party. My friend Esther Crow is here with her son, oh, Vincent. Hi, Esther. And Esther says, snazzy sweater, Susie. Thank you, Esther. Yeah, and snazzy. we have some friends telling us their traditions. Um, Micah says they bake cookies for Christmas. Yeah. All right, yeah, Micah. Yum. And Maureen says, hi, Brady. I don't know if you know Maureen, <laughs> but Maureen. <laughs> yeah, she says hi. hi. Rachel says that they open presents on Christmas Day. Yeah. Taylor says they play games, open presents. And Rosalind says wearing her hanbok traditional Korean clothes of the Lunar New Year and the Korean Harvest Moon Festival. Yeah. Thank you, Rosalind, for sharing that with us. Oh, my gosh. And my friend Zahi is here. Hi, Zahi. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry. <laughs> oh, even more traditions. Arnold says lots of cookies from everyone coming over for a huge dinner. Wow, and great. we have Maya is saying hello, hello, hello. Oh, hi, and Maya. You know where Maya's from? No. Finland. Oh, okay. little winter wonderland over in Finland right now. Oh, thank you for <laughs> tuning in, Maya. Jack, Jack says they make sausages on Christmas. Wow. And wow. And then Jen says they celebrate Elisa's birthday on Christmas or during the holidays. Zahi Beautiful. says, thank you for the shout out. And they make <laughs> apple pies. Ooh, Zahi, Ooh. save us some apple pies. <laughs> I made an apple pancake this morning. Ooh, delicious. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> couple more, couple more. We make, cr yeah. they craft the ornaments for our tree every year. Oh, that's Amber, oh, Ivan, that's and great. Epo. Love wow, that. great. And the donuts are being made by Jack. And Esther <laughs> says, making Christmas puppet videos. Ah, oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> and Esther says, snazzy, sparkly jacket too Brady. Oh, so, all right, that's enough for now. We'll get to some more after your song, but please, please tell us which song you would like to sing for us today. Well, it's a holiday song that I wrote a couple years back and it's on the uh, Revin' Up the Reindeer holiday album and it's called Peace Be to All. <laughs> all right. Well, the snow is a fall light upon the ground there's a beautiful silence all around have a merry christmas have a merry christmas peace be to all peace be to all i'm gonna light me a candle in the flame and let love and joy light my way have a happy Hanukkah have a happy Kwanzaa 
peace be to all. Peace be to all. I hear the bells are ringing. I hear the children singing. My heart is filled with light and song. Have a Merry Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas. Peace be to all. Peace be to all. All around the world, everyone I see, I say, raise your voice and sing with me. Have a happy holiday. Have a happy holiday. Peace be to all. Yeah, peace be. All right, let's go. Clap your hands. Clap your cookies. Have a Merry Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas. Peace be to all. Peace be to all. <laughs> Yay! Oh, Brady. Thanks. My goodness. You know, <laughs> listening to you sing makes me so happy and kind of brings tears to my eyes. So I love that. That's a beautiful song. Thank, thank you, you for sharing that. And my yeah. mom agrees. My mom says, great song. Uh, thanks, Kay. <laughs> we, yeah, we got some comments here. Zahi says, beautiful. And yeah. Mason says, awesome. And <laughs> Esther says, sweet song. And you have yeah. some love coming from Taylor. Yeah. And I think, oh, yeah. And Claudia Robin Gunn oh. in New Zealand is yeah. watching. Hi, Claudia. And she says, beautiful. So See, that was 70, beautiful. Those 70 countries they're all out there Susie <laughs> they're out there I guess right? I guess I should believe it yeah <laughs> uh so we're gonna be showing one of your videos next from cool. that album revving up the reindeer and it's a super fun video and I have a little um reindeer here in honor of revving wow, up the reindeer that. for you <laughs> it's a little, <laughs> little Rudolph. Rudolph yeah a little Rudolph <laughs> so Brady thank you so much for taking the time to be on my holiday special Thank you, Susie. It's been too long and I can't wait to get together. It, you know, we, we've done so many shows in the past and, and I just hope we can <laughs> do that in the future. <laughs> I, I do Look too. To I do too. Yeah. We're just keeping the faith and staying yeah. positive. And I wish you and your family a very happy holidays and a happy and safe new year. And hopefully you'll come back on the show in 2022. You got me whenever <laughs> you want. That Thank great. you, Brady. Thanks, Thank you so much. Bye. Happy holidays. Bye. Happy holidays. Aw, Brady. That was so sweet. Please go check out Brady's music at bradyreimer.com. You can see it down below. And we're also going to be sharing one of his music videos next from that album. And this is called Revving Up the Reindeer. So get your jingle bells and your shakers and your dancing scarves ready. Here we go. Up 
the reindeer ready to go. He's giving the antlers a real good shine, trimming each tail going down the line. Who needs a rocket and turbo jet when you got yourself a fleet of flying pets? Ho, 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 ho. He's revving up the reindeer ready to go. Ho, 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 ho. Santa's revving up the reindeer ready to go. With a great big sack Giving those reins one last crack Christmas Eve, time is tight So many toys, just one night Ho, 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 ho well, He's revving up the reindeer, ready to go Ho, 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 ho Santa's revving up the reindeer, ready to go Revving up the reindeer Revving up the reindeer Revving up the reindeer Yeah, revving up the reindeer He's revving up the reindeer Thank you, Brady, for sharing that with us. That was Revving Up the Reindeer. And please go check out Brady's music and more and videos at bradyreimer.com. That was so much fun. And thank you, Brady, for being on the show. So friends, just want to post again about our fundraiser that we are raising money today for Camp Friendship, which distributes bags of produce, pantry items, and prepared meals weekly to hundreds of families in Brooklyn, New York. You can go to their website, campfriendshipbrooklyn.org, and find the food pantry. I've also posted the link directly in the chat so that if you'd like to donate today, you can go ahead and donate right to their GoFundMe page. So that was so much fun. All right. Thank you, Brady. So um, next up, I actually have a joke from my friend Rosie that we didn't have time to share on the show on Monday. So I want to go ahead and share a joke from Rosie, our last joke of 2021. So is everybody ready? Here's the joke. When does a duck wake up in the morning? Hmm. At the quack of dawn. But I'm bump. <laughs> Good one, Rosie. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing that joke. Um, also, wanted to let everybody know before we move on to our second special guest that I have an encore performance coming up this um, Saturday on Christmas Day of my musical road trip. And you can find music from Brady and Lori on this album. There's our list of musicians that are featured on this musical journey across the country and beyond. And on Saturday, Christmas Day, December 25th, this is the schedule on Jump 105.3. You can go to the website, www.jump1053. And at 8 a.m., you can see the Twinkle Time Top 20 Countdown. At 10 a.m., Saturday morning cereal bowl. At noon, the children's hour. At 1 p.m., Dana's music playground. At 2 p.m., tunes, tales, and more with Archie and Floor. At 3 p.m., the carousel radio hour. And at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Christmas night, you can hear my musical road trip, the holiday edition. So I hope that you'll tune in for that. I also wanted to let everybody know and I forgot to ask Brady about this, but Brady is having a concert, a countdown concert, noon Year's Eve on Friday, December 31st at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And it's a live stream on his Facebook page. So I hope everybody will go ahead and check that out. All right. Next up, we have my dear friend and children's music superstar, Lori Berkner, is joining us. And Lori and I have also been friends for probably about the same amount of time that Brady and I have. Lori is dubbed the queen of kids music by People Magazine and has been creating rock and music for kids for over two decades. And she is ready to speak with us now. So without further ado, here is Lori Berkner. Hi, Lori. Hi, Susie. Hi, Brady. 
It's so great to see you. Thank you so much for being on my holiday special. And I see you have somebody special there with you. I do. We are both very happy to be here. It's Winston. <gasps> Hi, Winston. <laughs> I'm not sure how long he'll stay on my lap, actually. That's okay. <laughs> Penny's here too. Penny says hi to Winston too. Penny's hi, keeping Penny. keeping watch <laughs> outside the window. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, so I wanted to ask you, now that it's the holiday season, do you yeah. have a favorite holiday tradition that you and your family celebrate that you wouldn't mind sharing with us? Um, sure, yeah. Um, oh gosh, there are lots of different fun things to do. Um, something that I always liked doing was making um, cranberry and popcorn strings for our tree. Ooh, yes. And we've actually kept a lot of them over the years. Um, so yeah, that I think that that's a fun one. Uh, and what about something, if you don't mind telling our audience, what is something that brings you joy during the holiday season? Mm. Oh, well, I mean, singing. That's really one of the things that I just love to do the most. I love Especially, I mean, I grew up celebrating Christmas. Um, so singing Christmas carols is just feels very special to me. And we used to go caroling when I was a kid and like walk through the streets holding candles and singing songs and ending up at the tree in the middle of town. And um, it was, that was really special. And we always also did that in my family on Christmas Eve, we would always sing Christmas carols together. My my dad played a little bit of violin. Ah. Uh, yeah, when he was much younger. <laughs> and um, so when we were really little, he would pull that out. And then when we started, my brother and I started to learn how to play instruments, we kind of took over the instrument playing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's such a great image. I love that. I also grew up celebrating Christmas and we used to sing Christmas carols around the piano. My mom would play the piano not very often, but during the holiday season and we had these um, carol books that we hid in the piano bench that we would get out every year. Um, I love singing Christmas Just carols. the same. What's your favorite, one of your favorite Christmas carols? Oh boy. <laughs> that is a hard one. Um, I think, I mean, I love lots of them, but uh, do, 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 do you hear what I hear? That was oh, one that I yes. just loved. I just yes. loved that one. Yeah. Aww. Well, one of my favorite carols is Deck the Hall, which is actually very convenient because we're going to show your music video. So, yay! Yay! And that I like video, that one too. Yes. <laughs> that video is so fun. And I think that Winston makes an appearance in this video. Yes, he does. <laughs> I can't believe how long you've been sitting on my lap. I feel like. He doesn't really like it when I lift him up, even though that would be even nicer to say hi. But <laughs> he's sort of like, okay. <laughs> yeah, we understand. I mean, Penny really just hangs out here the whole day. She doesn't really <laughs> like it if I if I make her say hi either. <laughs> uh, well, I know you are super busy. You are busy singing to millions and millions of children. You've done a, an amazing job making this transition also to doing a lot of virtual programming I know in the last 18 months and how has that been? Thank how has you. that been for you doing the virtual programming? It's been really fun, actually. I mean, at first, you know, I, I definitely felt sad about not being able to do live shows, but then starting doing the virtual shows, I'm sure you've had this experience too. Like there's, there's a, a real intimacy in a lot of ways that yeah. doesn't happen in a live show because um, you know, where there's some interaction actually during the show, the chatting, seeing what people are thinking and saying, requesting, um, they can watch it, you know, in their own homes, feeling cozy. And there's just like, and I feel like that I can do so many more of them and see yeah. the same people over and over rather than like if I play in Chicago or New York or uh, California or something like those are all different people each getting to see one live show, which is wonderful. But if I can continue to see the same people over and over, um, just to, you know, 
because it's all online that was there's something really kind of fun and special about that and it yes. has felt really nice to do something it feels like positive and happy during this time where you know there are a lot of people who are really struggling so yes i agree and the thing i like about the virtual too is that you can see people in different countries <laughs> so we really did exactly. get to expand our reach and expand our family in a way yeah. and it just makes it seem yeah like we're that much more connected so even right now just to be able to see you because i haven't seen you in so long <laughs> i know <laughs> It's so nice to see your face and to see Winston and just to hear your voice. So thank you so much for taking the time to be on my special. Oh. Yeah, thank you. It's, <laughs> I feel the same way. Happy holidays, Lori. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thanks, Susie. Bye. Bye. Aw, thank you, Lori. You can find out all about Lori Berkner, her music and her videos at LoriBerkner.com and her concerts, both virtual and in person. She's such a dear friend and such a generous and sweet person. And thank you so much for all your comments, friends. Lots of love for Lori throughout that, throughout her interview. And we're going to go ahead and share a Berkner break. And one of her holiday songs that we're going to be sharing today is called Deck the Halls. Here we go. Break, Berkner break. It's time to take a Lori Berkner break. Deck the Halls. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. Troll the ancient Yuletide carol. Fa la 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 la. See the blazing. Yay. Thank you, Lori. Did anybody catch that Winston was in that video? <laughs> Along with a lot of other characters from many of her songs in that video. That was such a fun version of Deck the Halls. Thank you so much, Lori. And thank you, friends, for watching our show today. Again, I wish you all such a happy and safe holiday. And I am so appreciative of you continuing to watch my show these past 18 months. It's hard to believe that this is the last show of 2021, but I appreciate it. I appreciate all of our sponsors that we've had throughout the year, and I appreciate you. And if you were be interested in becoming a sponsor for 2022, all you have to do is email me at Susie at Susie .com. If you are a musician and you would like to perform as a special guest on one of my shows in the new year, again, please go ahead and email me at Susie at Susie .com. And always you can send pictures and video clips of your kids watching and enjoying the show to that same email. And I would love to view them and with your permission, even share them on the show. If you are looking for something to do over the holiday break, please go to my YouTube page where you can see 
all of the shows over the past 18 months. You can just put them on repeat and you can have your kids um, entertained for as long as you need to over the holiday season. So I appreciate you so much and thank you so much for donating today to Camp Friendship Food Pantry. If you would like the link, it's here and it's also in the chat. And you can also find out more information about them at campfriendshipbrooklyn.org slash food pantry. All right. I think that wraps it up today. I'm going to end with one holiday song of my own. And this song is called Silver Bells. City sidewalks, busy sidewalks, dressed in holiday style. In the air, there's a feeling of Christmas. <laughs> Children laughing, people passing, meeting smile after smile. And on every street corner, you'll hear silver bells, silver bells. It's Christmas time in the city. Ring a ling, hear them ring. Soon it will be Christmas Day. Strings of street lights, even stoplights, blink a bright red and green. As the shoppers run home with their treasures Hear the snow crunch, see the kids bunch This is Santa's big scene And above all the bustle you hear Silver bells, silver bells It's Christmas time the city ring a ling hear them ring soon it will be Christmas day soon it will be Christmas day Thank you so much, everybody. I wish you all a very happy holiday, whatever holidays that you celebrate, whether it's Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or Diwali or Christmas or the New Year or Eid or the Lunar New Year. I wish you all a happy and safe one. And we will be back on Monday, January 10th in the new year. So goodbye, everybody. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Thank you so much to my super special guests, Brady Reimer and Lori Berkner, for joining us on our holiday show. And please donate to Camp Friendship Food Pantry. A little bit goes a long way. I am sending you so much love and so much support. Penny and I are from my living room in Brooklyn to wherever it is that you're watching. Bye, everyone.